Better than that. Uh, we, have to, we have to do a little commercial here. We want to thank some people that's making this jam session possible. One of them is being the BBD Commission, which is the Bayou Vermillion District Commission, which is the parent company of Vermillionville, where you're at today. So they run the whole shebang here, and they allow us to have this beautiful building on every Saturday afternoon from 1 to 3 in order to uh, present some traditional Cajun music. And of course, we want to thank uh, Community Coffee for coming on board a couple of years ago. We want to thank them folks for sure. If you're Cajun, uh, you, we all know that you drink Community <coughs> Coffee, and we want to thank you for that in advance. And the CFMA, the Cajun French Music Association, uh, is, uh, we're all members of the CFMA. Uh, Cajun French Music Association has been a sponsor of this jam session uh, for years and years. And every penny, every nickel we make uh, goes to the preservation of our music and, and the culture and, uh, and if you had lunch, the food too. So we just, just so happens we have a, a raffle coming, coming up uh, of $1,000. You can buy a chance for a dollar. You can see that beautiful young woman right there selling raffle tickets. So uh, they only a dollar, dollar a piece. Comes with a dance. Huh? Comes with a dance. It comes with a dance, yeah, sure. Of course, of course, of course you gotta get you gotta get permission from my husband. And I heard he was around here somewhere and he's very mean. So, so be careful. Listen, listen. I gotta tell you something that us we Cajuns were doing wrong a little less than 50 years ago. And we were doing it all wrong. When we were playing Cajun music before sound came in, before we had amps and all of this stuff we would have, was called a bal de maison, a, a house dance, where we would get together like, like this and play music. The only thing that we, and then of course we had the dance halls that we would go to listen to Cajun music. Uh, the only thing that we would not allow, not me, the only thing we wouldn't allow as a culture was to allow women to play Cajun music. How dumb was that, right? So you can see here today, well, we have taken a big step forward. Uh, and really, I'm serious, about 50 years ago, it wasn't acceptable. Uh, the woman had her place in the house, uh, and we all know that I'm not even gonna go back there. Uh, but you know, uh, but uh, we, are, we are so lucky today that, uh, in fact, one of my guests today is a pioneer in, <coughs> Playing Cajun music, or actually going up on stage and playing with a band, a Cajun band that never had allowed a woman to play before. And then after she played, the accordion player on that, on that, on that band said wouldn't have let her play again because she played better than him. I'm just joking. I'm just joking about that. But uh, my guests today feature all women, uh, some women in Cajun music. Uh, for instance, this beautiful young lady right here was, it's, this jam session started. It's been here at Vermillionville for 11 years. So we had it even before then at the Louisiana Heritage and Gifts. <coughs> I met her sitting next to me at this same jam session. She saw a sign one day, Cajun jam session, and she decided to come. Uh, and after that day, she was, uh, she was struck by the Cajun bug and never looked back. And she traveled all over the world singing Cajun music and country. Please make welcome. She's a teacher, by the way. Please make welcome. It's Yvette Landry. <laughs> this other young lady on the fiddle right here is, uh, I met her some years ago, and I got to tell you the true story. I, I was playing with an old guy called Nokale Young in the Basio Occasion Band way back in the day. We, our first gig was a place called Dupes, Feet Store and Lounge. So you can just about imagine. You story, You think about the worst place you ever been in, and then you take a step down from that a little bit. And that was Dukes. That's where we started. But anyway, we were we were we were on the road and playing Cajun music, and and, and the old man who was a accordion player uh, was a guy named Ali Young. And Ali calls me on the phone one day, Nonk, and we all call him Nonk. Uh, Nonk is uncle in French. And uh, he called me and said, listen, he said, I, I have a, 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 a young lady that's going to play the fiddle tonight for us. And I said, oh, Papa Fred and Grossi, you're making a big mistake. I don't think there's any woman out there who can play fiddle enough, good enough in Cajun music to make a sound as good as we need a sound. 
Boy, I have to eat my words every day. And every time I see Gina play the fiddle by telling this old man that I didn't think she was going to work out. And she ended up adding spice and adding some great talent to the band. Please make welcome. It's Gina Forsyth. <laughs> My next guest is a guest, uh, she's been a part of this jam session, and i gotta, I got to thank her for that. I, I thank her every Saturday. She comes here, rain, sleet, snow. In fact, a couple of weeks ago, it was snowing, and she was here. Uh, but she has been all over the world, uh, representing our culture and our music. She's in the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame. She's in the CFMA Hall of Fame. She's in uh, the Cajun Culture Hall of Fame. And she's a living legend. We all, we all uh, know her as the queen of the Cajun accordion. Please make welcome, Ms. Cheryl Cormier. We are so fortunate to have so many women who decided to play Cajun music. I, I, I can't even begin to... In fact, last year, uh, two all-gore bands made it to, got nominated for Grammys. Uh, and it wouldn't have been for... When I was talking about Cheryl a while ago, uh, way back... Not, not way, way back. <laughs> kind, of like, kind, of like, kind of like way back. There was a club uh, in Millsburg called Borks. And uh, Cheryl knew how to play the accordion. And uh, she wanted, they went with their whole family one Sunday afternoon to a dance at Borks Club. And it was about Blackie Forestry, a friend of mine was playing the accordion. And her sister went up to the band and said, My sister wants to play the accordion. And so naturally he put her off for as long as he could. And then her sister went back and said, hey, look, the dance is almost over. Are you going to give my, my sister a chance to play the accordion or not? And so Blackie said, sure, let her come up. And, and, and she's another one who never looked back. I don't want to tell you how many years that's been, but it's been a long time. But she opened the door. She has opened the door for many, many, many women who tried to play just like her and took that step of learning and learning an instrument and playing Cajun music. And I want to thank all the women today, including, including Becky Miller, who's going to be up here after a while, uh, doing some songs, and, uh, and, and, and uh, Rosalette uh, Cormier, right there. That's Mr. Cheryl Cormier. Mr. Cheryl Cormier right there, who traveled with his wife all over the world. We do do a request. Uh, actually, all you got to do is buy a book uh, of raffle tickets, and you have an opportunity to win a thousand bucks. Uh, for a penny piece, I'm just joking. You can, uh, but listen seriously. We do do requests. Put it on the back of a twenty dollar bill and bring it to Jace. Jace, right there. All right, then. 